What's going on world, it's your boy Alex Miner, and today we're gonna talk about five items that have helped improve my workflow and productivity. When it comes to filmmaking and YouTube, time is money, and for someone like me, and I'm assuming most of you, easy use and user experience are two things that keep ideas flowing and moving efficiently from one project to the next. And these are things that I've added to my setup that have helped to improve and streamline my process. Quick disclaimer, most of the products aren't cheap, but they are fairly budget friendly considering what they are, and I bought all of them with my own money and use them daily in my video production. First up is this quick release plate designed by Photo for Easy. It seems to be based on the RC2 by Manfrotto but has some subtle differences. First is price, it's only $10 while the Manfrotto is closer to $40. It's also square and the Manfrotto is rectangular and that allows me to access the battery compartment on all my cameras without taking them off the ball head. I also enjoy that there are three bubble levels on the plate itself so no matter what I always have a reference to make sure that my camera is straight. I know a lot of people swear by the Arca Swiss plate and I did too for a while but I just found that the materials and sizes of the plates were inconsistent from manufacturer to manufacturer and it took away from my user experience. That and having to screw and unscrew these small knobs all the time and worry if they were tight enough made it so that my mind wasn't on what was really important, shooting. Number two on our list is the Gorillapod 5K. Now the version that I own is the previously released model, the Gorillapod Focus with the Joby branded ball head mount. I got mine on sale from Amazon for about $90, but the current price with the ball head is about $130. I recommend you buy it without the ball head because it cuts the price almost in half, and the quick release plate on top is a proprietary design, and you can find better beefier ball heads on Amazon for $30 or less. This thing literally comes with me everywhere. If I'm taking my camera, the Gorilla Pods come with me. It's kind of my Swiss Army knife for video and allows me to quickly and easily get shots in a variety of situations. You already know that some of the most popular YouTubers are using this thing to vlog with, but it's way more than just a vlogging tool. When I don't have a tripod, I can use the Gorilla Pod to mount my camera almost anywhere. On a table, the back of a chair, the top of a bookcase, a tree branch, the window of a car, non-moving, and the list goes on and on. I even use it as a fake shoulder rig when shooting handhelds and it adds some badly needed weight to my mirrorless cameras. Now there are several sizes and versions of the Gorilla Pod, but I really think the 5K is the only one worth buying. It's made of metal and way more durable than the smaller versions, and over a short period of frequent use, the sockets of the plastic ones will become loose and it'll be harder for the legs to keep the positions you try to put them in. This does happen with the metal version too, but it takes a lot longer and I promise you will get your money's worth. Number three on the list is my Samsung T5 portable solid state drive. This thing's been a lifesaver and I'm gonna say it's required for anybody editing 4k video footage. Before I bought this every single video was a struggle because all my stuff is shot in 4k and even using proxies my computer would start choking every time I put more than a couple of plugins on the timeline or started doing color correction. With this I can do 4k edits full quality in Adobe Premiere without making proxies. It can even let me edit 4k footage on my nearly three-year-old laptop and with all the specials going on right now you can find it for just under $100. So after you finish this video, go in the description, click the link, and get you one. Number four is my monopod, and I don't know how to pronounce the name right, so I'ma just put it on the screen. This thing's an absolute beast and saves me so much time. It sells on Amazon for about $150, but you can find it used for around $100, and it's worth every single penny. The main reason that I love this thing so much is because it's a legitimate tripod substitute. This is the only monopod I've ever used that can stand up by itself holding a camera rigged up with a large lens and monitor like you see here. When I shoot two camera interviews, I typically carry one good size tripod and this. My A camera goes on the tripod, B cam goes on the monopod, because I can put it almost anywhere including all the way in the corner and not have to worry about it. The version I bought doesn't come with the ball head or fluid head, but you can find perfectly good options on Amazon for between $20 and $50. I'll have some links in the description below. My one complaint about this thing would be the weight. Even though it's made of aluminum, it's pretty heavy and I like traveling with it but sometimes I have to leave it behind because it's right around 10 pounds and that makes it difficult to meet the weight limits for the airlines when it's in my luggage. I put it on my back, strapped it to the backpack before but when you're already carrying a backpack full of gear you do not want to walk uphill in New York or San Francisco and have this thing dragging you down. It's not fun. 
Last but not least is my camera monitor, the Field World F6, AKA the Andy Cine A6. It's a 5.7 inch monitor, takes a 4K signal, and has a ton of tools to help you nail your focus and exposure. To me, this is the best monitor you can get for less than $500, and it only costs $180. This thing's pretty much made to mimic the setup of the small HD focus, but doesn't have a touch screen or the ability to use LUTs, but that's okay. A lot of the higher end cameras that you'd be using with this, can. What it does have is focus peaking, zebras, a histogram, false color, a zoom in mode, four customizable buttons for your most used functions, and a headphone jack for those of us with cameras that don't have one. This will immediately take your camera setup to another level and give you some great tools to make sure that you're getting the shot every single time. And a great bonus feature is the DC power output on the side which gives you just enough juice to power your camera via a dummy battery. I use this all the time with the NPF battery and I get at least a half a day shooting if not more and don't ever have to worry about taking a camera off a tripod to swap batteries. The big negatives for this are that the build is completely plastic so you don't know how well it's going to hold up and the hot shoe mount. The screw for tightening it down is small and really hard to grip. If you're not careful you'll go to move your camera and the whole rig can fly off. Trust me it's happened. You can solve this by taking the monitor off the included monitor arm and putting it on a normal ball head or by adding some kind of adapter to it. I chose to add a NATO rail quick release plate to the monitor and now getting it on and off my camera is a breeze. If you're interested in this hot shoe NATO rail and the NATO rail quick release plate there will be links in the description. So that's going to be it for this episode. If you're interested in any of the gear I talked about, everything is going to be in the description below. And those links are affiliate links, but using them costs you nothing and gives us a little bit of kickback that's going to go towards buying more gear for videos like these. If you're new here or somebody that's been rocking with me for a while, don't forget to smash that like button, judo chop the bell, and show that subscribe button who's boss. I'd love for you to join me in future episodes because I'm just trying to pump out high quality content and every little bit of support helps. It's your boy Alex Miner. I'm out. Thank you.